Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And today I'm out in my backyard again. I went to take a walk today because last night it rained. Today's April 2nd. I'm in far southwest Virginia at about 2,700 feet in the Appalachian Mountains. And this is my favorite kind of episode to shoot. I love doing episodes on what I find on that particular day. And today I found a slimy salamander. So today's episode is gonna be on slimy salamanders. And yes, I got slimed. And I'll explain what that means. And the slimy salamander is one where if you live anywhere on the eastern part of the United States, except for Florida, you probably have slimy salamanders in your state. So in today's episode on the slimy salamander, I'm gonna show you a slimy salamander up close. We're gonna break down its scientific name and talk about what it means and how it got its common name and what it means to be slimed and why that slime is so intense and some really cool things about its biology. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So today I was walking through the woods, and if you've seen some of my recent episodes, you know that I've got pieces of aluminum roofing that I've left out as a habitat and enhancement for reptiles and amphibians. And today, just a little while ago, I pulled this up, and sure enough, underneath, I found this slimy salamander. So I slapped some wet soil on my hands and as quick as I could, I picked them up and tossed them into a terrarium that I always carry with me. And my close-ups are on this specimen here today. Slimy salamanders are in the plethodon group. The plethodon salamanders are woodland salamanders that have adapted to life totally terrestrial, unlike frogs and toads and some other salamanders don't lay their eggs in ponds, and they don't have any tadpole or newt stage. They lay their eggs under flat rocks or logs in a damp place. Sometimes a female guards them, and the egg goes through its larval stage inside that egg, and when they hatch out, they're completely terrestrial adults, so they're independent of water. The scientific name of this salamander, the northern slimy salamander, is plethodon glutinosis. Plethodon glutinosis. The word plethodon comes from pleth, which means a lot or plenty, and odon, which means teeth. So its genus name is plenty of teeth, and it refers to the tiny teeth that are inside its mouth. It's really harmless though, and can't bite humans at all. Glutinosis, well that actually refers to the slime it releases. Most salamanders have skin secretions, and this plethodon, like all the plethodons, are lungless, and they breathe through their skin. So keeping their skin moist is really important. So all salamanders excrete some kind of mucus or secretion, but the slimy salamander does it the most, and it's really sticky, and it's just like glue. In the brief moment where I picked up that salamander, I got slimed by him, and before I could get him in that container, and the mud I got on my hands glued onto my hand. I've washed my hand three or four times now, and I still have this dirt glued onto my hand by its secretion. What's the purpose of the secretion? It's a deterrent to predation. A bird or animal doesn't want to try to grab a slimy salamander and get that sticky stuff all over its jaws or beaks. So it's a deterrent that helps this salamander be left alone by potential predators. So this salamander can be found in woodlands and damp places across the eastern part of the United States, except for Florida. It was once thought that the slimy salamander was one species, but now they've identified over 16 species by DNA analysis. It's really hard to tell the, the different species apart. There's subtle differences, and a lot of the identification is based on its location. You can find slimy salamanders throughout damp woodlands, under rocks, in leaf litter, under boards, under logs, anything that creates a damp hiding place. 
they're mostly nocturnal. And you can tell they're nocturnal by looking at these big, big eyes. They use those eyes to better see at night. And after a rain, that's when they're most active. Adapted to living in the leaf litter and under logs and rocks, these guys eat almost any invertebrate they can find. Millipedes, centipedes, slugs, isopods, insect larvae, if they can gobble it down, they'll eat it. So in identifying a slimy salamander, at least from all the other salamander species, look for this blue-black color, it's really beautiful, and these white or silver or sometimes even gold flecks all across its body. The other characteristics is the length of its tail. Look how long that tail is compared to his body. And also the tail is cylindrical. Some salamanders have flattened or keeled tails, which are useful when they're living in the aquatic environment. But this salamander, being totally woodland, has a round or cylindrical tail. Remember, if you want to go out and find some salamanders, always wet your hands before you pick them up. It's a good practice to wash your hands of any oils or lotions or anything you have on there because their skin is very sensitive. Also suggested is using nitrile gloves to pick them up so you can be really safe. I minimize handling them. I do wet my hands first and I try to pop them into a container. Also, if you turn over rocks or boards, always put them back gently in the exact spot you found them before. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. I tell you, this is a great place to look for salamanders. Here in the Appalachian Mountains, we have more salamander species than anywhere in the world. But the slimy salamander and the redback salamander, see my previous episode, are two salamanders that you may very well find in a suburban location or even an urban location. So check them out. If you like what I do and like learning about nature, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and leave a comment. I love hearing from my viewers, and I try to get back to every person within 24 to 48 hours. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.